What's going on everybody? Thank you so much for checking in. In this video, we're going to go over SPY, which is the S&P 500 ETF. And we're also going to go over our watches for the week ahead. This watch list includes names like Tesla, Apple, Meta, Nvidia, and Netflix. We're going to give you all the resistance and support points that you need for these stocks. That way you know exactly where to enter, where to take profits, and where to cut losses if you have to. So let's go ahead and get started by first talking about SPY and we're going to do so on the daily candles where we can see that SPY saw more volume on Friday than it has seen in the last two weeks. Now the reason for this is because during the last two weeks we have been pulling back and consolidating from a very strong upside rally. Anytime you are watching a rally and you see a pullback and you're wondering if it's going to be a reversal, your main focus is always going to be volume. If volume on the pullback and consolidation is much lower than the rally, that means all the buyers are likely still holding and are very much interested. And we can see that on Friday after just a little bit of good news from the PCE report, which was our latest reading on inflation, after just a little bit of good news, the market gapped up on very strong volume and it moved back above this red line, which if you've seen our videos over the last few months, you know this trend line has been a very significant resistance and it actually has been marking our price target for the last few months. Now SPY did move to this trend line and it got rejected. The significance of this trend line is these rejection points back here. Every time we have faced this trend line we had gotten rejected back down and we sold off for multiple weeks to multiple months. Now this time around we made it just above this trend line and we got rejected again, but during this rejection, we can see that volume was low and the market was quickly able to recover, which means that we are likely setting up for a further bullish rally. Let's talk about some levels, but before we do so, we have to address the economic front for the week. This week will be focused around unemployment reports. The market will get a bunch of job data. Last month's job reading or unemployment report came in at 3.7%, slightly higher from April's at 3.4%. So if we continue seeing an uptick in unemployment, it could alarm markets and it could set off a pullback. Now the unemployment report is expected on Friday and if it comes in above 4%, then just watch out for a potential pullback on the market because higher unemployment means that we are moving towards a potential recession and it's bad for the economy. Another major report that we're expecting this week is going to be the FOMC Minutes Report. This is pretty much a report that goes over the last Federal Reserve meeting and they talk about some more in-depth perspective of each member. Now we won't really learn anything new from this report, but markets always get a little anxious anytime the Federal Reserve speak or release anything, so just be prepared for that on Wednesday. So now let's move on to the fun part and talk about some short-term levels for SPY. If you watched markets last week, you know that SPY reached a new 52 week high and a new high for the entire year. On the hourly chart, the rejection was at 444.30, which makes that your first breakout resistance to watch going into this week. If you are bullish on the market and you want to see a further continuation, you need to move above that point for a price target of 448, which would be the first place you would take profits. And if you want to leave some runners, you would take more profits around 450. Now, if you are bearish on the market, you would need a break below 431 for you to safely enter any puts for a swing. If you're looking to day trade puts, you can day trade a short or put position below 438.31 and take it to this price target. But if you're looking to swing, you're going to need a move back below 431 to safely swing any puts overnight. If you're bullish, you are safe to swing calls as long as we close above 438.31. Anywhere above this range, we are still strongly bullish and we are likely to continue that move up. Now let's talk about the next stock on our watches, which is going to be Apple. Now if you've been watching Apple for the last few weeks, you know that the stock has been dying to make this move higher. It has been consolidating tightly and tightly and finally it has been able to break out. Now during this breakout, Apple reached the $3 trillion market cap for the first time in history. In fact, it is the first company to ever do so. Let's talk about some levels and see if this thing has more juice in it to go up. 
If you are bullish on Apple, you are safely bullish anywhere above 190. So if you're holding Apple and you want a safe stop loss, you can place one just below 190 and even just below 187 if you want to. Apple is likely going to consolidate and continue a very tight range movement as it inches higher. It is unlikely that it's going to see very strong vertical rallies just because of where it's sitting. Many buyers are afraid to buy at this levels and, and sellers are just nowhere to be found. So the movement is very tight and very choppy, but nonetheless, the stock is still able to go up. The first resistance you need Apple to break out above is going to be 194.48. If it can break above that point, then it's a brand new blue sky breakout for Apple and it is going to continue its road towards 198 to 200. If you are bearish on Apple, then you need a break below 187.55 for the stock to potentially move down to a price target of around 185. Second price target below 185 would be around 182.60 to 183. Just remember that Apple is seeing a very strong bullish trend and very strong bullish volume day over day. So betting against the stock is a very risky move right now and it's not something that I would personally take overnight. Now moving on to the next stock on our watch list which is going to be Meta. Meta, like Apple, has been consolidating very tightly for a couple weeks now with buyers refusing to let go of their positions and it's still holding strongly above the 10 and the 20 day moving averages. Here are some levels to focus on for Meta. First of all, Meta is not yet ready to be played as a bullish trend because the stock is still consolidating at this range and it looks like it could be forming what could be a triple top at 290.40. If the stock fails below 290.40, once again, it can get sent down to retest the 280 level. Below that level, it can break down to 276. And below 276, you can take a short or a put position down towards the price target of 270. If you are bullish on Meta and you want to play a breakout, you need a move above 290.40 with very strong volume in order for a stock to move to a price target of 298 to 300, we would take profits just below 300 because it is likely going to see some sort of psychological resistance at that point. The next stock on our watches is going to be Nvidia. Now Nvidia has pulled back over the last couple weeks. However, the stock is still continuing to hold a very strong bullish trend overall. You can see that on Friday, it was able to recover above the 10 day moving average once again after falling to the 20. Now moving averages are where institutional and normal traders come in to buy their positions because they act as very strong support points when a stock is trading above them. So we can see that Nvidia recovered above the 20 and above the 10 last week. So this week you want to watch for where that daily candle opens. If it can open and maintain above this blue line, which is the 10 day moving average, then the stock can continue higher. And let's talk about some levels to focus on. First of all, if you are bullish on Nvidia, you need it to stay above 420. 420 is a very significant support, and if it moves back below it, then it can sell off quickly and fall to 406. But if you're looking for a bullish breakout, you need to move above 427.40, but the true breakout is gonna be at 440, which is going to be a blue sky breakout, which means that the stock has never seen highs of these levels before. Above 440, we do expect Nvidia to move to our price target of 480 to 500, but ultimately we do have a price target of close to 1000 on Nvidia. If you haven't seen our video on those projections, we're going to leave it for you in the description. The next stock on our watches is going to be Netflix. Now Netflix, like Nvidia and many other stocks, including SPY, it pulled back to its 20 day moving average. During this pullback, we can see that volume was low. And then finally, when the stock recovered back above the 10 and 20, volume started coming in again. If you are bullish on Netflix, here are some levels that you want to watch. First of all, you want the stock to break above 448.65 for it to move to a price target of around 456 to 457. And if you are bearish on the stock, you need to move below 426 first, but it's not safe to swing puts unless it closes below 411.40 which the downside price target below that level would be around 396 to 398. Now we know that these are not very aggressive price targets, especially to the upside. 
We will be providing more levels on Netflix on all these stocks next video, so make sure you subscribe and watch for our next video. The last and final stock on our watches is going to be Tesla, which like Netflix, Spy, and many other stocks, pulled back to its 20-day moving average, and the stock has recovered back above the 10. Now, one thing to point out about Tesla is that during this move back above the 10-day moving average, the stock's volume stayed lower than our liking. So make sure you watch out for more volume as you go into the week. You want to see strong green days accompanied with strong green volume. That way you know that buyers are still taking interest. Now the stock overall is holding a very bullish trend and it will continue to do so as long as it's above 240. It may need multiple weeks or multiple months of consolidation before pushing higher. But we received some news over the weekend that may help the stock push this week. Tesla delivered a record number of vehicles once again, delivering 466,000 vehicles in the second quarter, and it beat expectations, which were around 423,000. So this news may help Tesla push higher, and here are some levels to focus on if you are looking to trade it. First of all, you want Tesla to break above the 279.54 level for it to continue its bullish rally. Yes, it can break above 266.80, which was its most recent resistance, but that's not enough for it to continue its upside continuation from the overall trend it's holding. The breakout above 266.80 will simply take it to its highest level we've seen in the recent weeks but it will need to move above that level for it to continue to its price target of 289 to 290. If you are bearish on the stock, then you need to first see it move below the 10 day moving average, which is this blue line on our chart. It may be a different color on yours. Below that level on the daily candles, the stock can move to a price target of around the 20 day moving average, which is 248. But if you don't want to use moving averages for trading, these levels will work as well. You can take a put below 246.60 to a price target of around 238 to 239, or below 238.50, we can see a price target of 230. Now, we don't personally think that the market will pull back that severely this week, but you never know what happens, which is why we'd like to trade without any bias. We will just trade what charts give us as they develop using these levels. Thank you guys so much for checking in and you guys enjoy your holiday week. Don't forget that Monday is an early close and July 4th is going to be fully closed in recognition of Independence Day. Thank you again. Make sure you subscribe and like.